So for this problem, the AT function graph is given. As you can see, A, the acceleration, is a piecewise function of time. So we can see that there are two equations for the acceleration function. The first one is given. The first one is 0 0.3 t squared, and this applies when t is between uh, 0 and 15 seconds. For the second one, this one right here, this is a linear function, and the slope is determined by the change in the acceleration, that's a negative 30, and then the change in time, that's a 15 second change. Therefore, the slope is going to be negative 2 t, and then obviously you need a constant. All right, so how do you determine that constant? Well, we know that when t equals to 15 seconds, acceleration equals to 30, so 30 equals to negative 2 times 15 plus c, therefore your constant is going to be 60. So now by reading the graph, we have already determined the two equations that describe our AT function. So after that, what do we need? We need VT function because A equals to dV dt. Therefore, it looks quite straightforward. From there, we, in order to find VT function, so dV equals to A times dt, therefore we need to integrate, right? So when t is between 0 and 15 seconds, dV integrated for in, from initial uh, velocity, which is 0, to current velocity equals to time from initial time to current time. And then acceleration is 0 0.3 t squared from this equation right here, dt. So we do the integration, and that equals to 0 0.1 t to the third power. The left-hand side simply equals to v. So that's our first vt equation, which is 0 0.1 t to the third power. Again, this only applies to when t is between 0 second to 15 second. Now, it's important to determine what v is at t equals to 15 second. So t equals to 15 second, v evaluated from this equation is 0 0.1 times 15 to the third power, which equals to 337.5 in the unit of meter per second. This is important because this is going to be the initial condition for the second time period. So for the second time period, when t is between 15 and 30 seconds, same thing. dv equals to a dt, integrate both sides. But now the left-hand side is integrated not from 0, but from this initial velocity at t equals to 15 seconds that we just determined. So from 337.5 to current velocity, dv, and this equals to v minus 337.5. And on the right-hand side, we integrate from not t equals to 0, but t equals to 15 seconds to current t. Acceleration is given by this equation, negative 2t plus 60. And that equals to negative t squared plus 60t evaluated from t equals to 15 to current t. And this right-hand side equals to negative t squared plus 60t minus 15 squared, negative 15 squares plus 60 times 15, 
All right, so this equals to negative t squared plus 60t minus 675. But don't forget, this is not v, but this is v minus 337.5. So your v actually equals to negative t squared plus 60t minus 675 plus 337.5. So I'm going to fill it in here. And that's going to be negative t squared plus 60t minus 337.5. And that applies to when t is between 15 seconds to 30 seconds. So now we have determined the piecewise function of the vt function. So if you have the piecewise function, then surely you can graph it if you have a graphing calculator or if you have any kind of software like Excel. So I'm not going to graph it, but I can show you the shape of it. The first half, when t is between 0 and 15 seconds, we have a 30-degree polynomial and it's positive, therefore it keeps increasing. So this is a t, this is a v, this is a third degree polynomial function. And then for the second half, this is a quadratic function, negative sign, which means that it's a downward quadratic function, a shape, downward cup shape. Okay. So um, it's actually going to look like this. So if you have a graphing calculator or if you have any kind of software, you can plot this piecewise function and you will see that the shape of the graph is like this.